Gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, I just did a video. The greatest video, arbitration video of all times. My job. I got a job. I got a job. I created a job. My job was making contracts, ladies and gentlemen. That's what's my job, making contracts. And I made contracts, and I just waited for people to default. Why? Because they were going to enter into the agreement. See? The greatest arbitration video ever! I did this for employment. My job! I, I, I had a job. It was my job to create these contracts. And then I solicited these businesses who had agreements with me. And I said, hey, I want to change the terms and condition of our agreement. And they said, man, sure enough, we ain't even going to contest you. Nah, you go do what you do, homie. And I said, really? They said, man, you got this. And so I did what I did. Now, look, it's been 10 minutes since I uploaded, started the upload. This is Google. For whatever reason, Google wants to slow the upload speed. That's okay. That's okay because it still will be uploaded, ladies and gentlemen. Let me tell you what I did with Google. Google shut down an account. Google blocked access to certain emails. Would not respond. I said, hey, Google, you can't do that to me because I ain't your mama. No, you treat your mama that way, but you don't treat me that way. Google said, mother, get the out of here. I said, no, you Google, you don't want to do that. Google said, man, we Google. We can do whatever we want. I said, Google, do you know that you're part of Alphabet and YouTube? That Alphabet is your parent company and YouTube is a subsidiary? We don't give up if you know who we be. I said, now hold on now, Google. Y'all don't understand. You don't want to go this route. Google said, mother you. I said, mother what? Who do you think you're talking to? And Google said, man, ah, and hung up on me. And I'm like, okay, fine. Okay, fine. You're in default. And Google said, <laughs> we don't care. I said, okay, you didn't respond in three days. You're going to care in a minute. Sent it to them. they like, we ain't even responded to this. I, you ain't responded to this. Mother, you're going to respond. And so I did a motion to confirm. Ladies and gentlemen. I did a motion to confirm, and the court simply dismissed my request. Just dismissed it. They didn't vacate it. They dismissed it. Google never responded. Now, you know how it says that the court must confirm? Google never contested. Never responded. Never contested. And the court ignored me. Thank you. Jesus. Thank you. Because now I can show you how my job pays off. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. I got a problem. I'm melting some things. Yeah, that's my fault. I was cooking and I was warming some stuff up. And while I was warming some stuff up, I had a plastic plate that I was using as a heat enclosure to keep the heat in. Cause I was just warming it up. Didn't feel like putting nothing in a microwave. Cause I don't, the microwave is there. I just don't use it. And the plate started to melt. <laughs> it's okay. It was only 50 cents. All right, ladies and gentlemen, all I do now, just like with the company that I rented that equipment from, and it cost me $600 to repair their equipment because the tires were underinflated and they've been ignoring me. And then I have my credit card company that allowed them to take over a thousand dollars out of my account without my permission, without there being any contract. So I just notified the credit card company today. These idiots are not going to respond. They're going to treat me like I'm a punk. I'm going to be their punk. I will be your Huckleberry mother. Okay. And so all I need to do is sit back. I'm going to send them a bill because I'm charging them for every day. 
Just like I'm going to do the same thing with uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken. I went to Kentucky Fried Chicken. On the way back, I was, I uh, think I had done a seminar or something. And I was coming on the way back by bus. And we stopped in Taos, New Mexico. And as we stopped in Taos, New Mexico, these idiots told them, hey guys, uh, this is what I want. Gave them a simple order. 10 minutes went by. I said, excuse me, I'm on the bus right there. They're about to leave. I have five minutes. I need my order. It's been 10 minutes. They said, okay, we'll get with you in a second. They did not get with me in a second. Hold on, y'all. Y'all get on my nerves inside. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, they were whining, acting like they need to go outside. No, and they don't. And so they've been doing that for the last two hours, and I really am tired. Okay, they they understand. Ah, ah. inside, home. All right. Anyway, um, Kentucky Fried Chicken, I had to leave. They never fixed my order. They were as prejudiced as they could possibly be. Ladies and gentlemen, that was 2012. It was only $5.38 was the total amount for the order. So guess what I'm getting ready to do, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, they were smelling the food. No wonder they were whining. They don't get to eat my food, the dogs right here. The dogs do not get to eat my food. They only get to eat their food. So they don't get to enjoy my quesadillas. That's my breakfast and my lunch. I had two quesadillas earlier, eight inch tortilla shells, two of them, and then two more for lunch. Uh, and that's gonna be it until I eat dinner. Oh, that's not healthy. Tell your mama it's not healthy. Don't worry about me. Okay, I'm gonna tell her. Mama! I didn't say it ain't healthy. You said it wasn't healthy. Mama! He said I said it wasn't healthy! I apologize, ladies and gentlemen, for that idiot. Mama! He apologizing for me! Oh, God. Ladies and gentlemen, what happens is I contacted the company, called them by phone. I called the executive office. They ignored me. So I am charging them every single day interest for my money 15 percent interest on the five dollars and 38 cents since 2012 ladies and gentlemen we are going on 10 years 365 days well no 368 days because there have been three leap years since then take your behind and go home home sorry that's the dog she tends to continue to try to come through the peripheral vision sneaking up on me and nah we she ain't touching my food um don't worry about it she understands she'll she'll come back again this is our routine every single day the exact same conversation the exact same pointing the exact same going home i'll be glad when summer gets here that way they'll be outside all the time <laughs> and i ain't got to point at them because they'll stop wanting to be underneath me because i can't handle that okay you know how some of you women are do you want to be right underneath your man 24 hours a day well not this mother i mean i'm sorry not me okay anyway what i do is i send them a final bill i let them know ladies and gentlemen i'm just going to wait 6 months here's your bill you must pay this if you refuse to pay, I'm not going to argue with you. I'm not going to debate with you. If you have any problems, then you need to take it up with whomever it is that you have that you need to consult with. Because I will not accept anything other than full payment. There will be no settlement on this amount. Ladies and gentlemen, after six months, I'm going to forgive the debt. Now, with Google, I don't have to forgive the debt after six months. It's already been forgiven. It's been more than six months. It's been years. I have an arbitration award against Google for $30 million. That's the award that I held on to. I did not give that award to anyone else. 
That's the award I held on to. And so I just write that off on my taxes. And that's how we played that game. And then I do a 1099C and Google's responsible for the taxes on the $30 million. The same as with the Kentucky Fried Chicken and all the other companies I'm doing complaints against. That's my job, ladies and gentlemen. And so if they want to challenge it and go to court, then I just use the Federal Arbitration Act. And the video I just did, the greatest arbitration video era, I use that information to go after those mothers. And if they want to challenge me in court, by all means, bring it, mother. And I will counter sue them in court because the contracts I have allows me to counter sue, to counter sue, to counter sue. Now, by the way, the debt against Kentucky Fried Chicken, need y'all to pay attention. That debt has nothing. Pay attention. Has ah, ah, home. That debt has nothing to do with an arbitration agreement. That's just a debt. Remember, the IRS says if anybody owe you a debt and they haven't paid, it's a bad debt. So the debt with Kentucky Fried Chicken for 10 years, that's a bad debt. And if I got any other people who owe me money from 20 years ago, 30 years ago, I just charge them interest for the last 20 and 30 years. The same as a debt collector will charge you, I charge them the same thing. And every seven years, I renew that debt. Okay? That's it. So ain't no statute of limitation. I renew it. I make it a common law debt. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. So, ladies and gentlemen, take a look into that video. And I think you'll understand it. And if you pay attention to the IRS tax topic 453, IRS tax topic, Google it. IRS tax topic 453, you'll see it says that you get to charge off that debt. I'm going to charge off the debt. I'm going to send them a notice of forgiveness. I'm going to do a 1099C, and that's going to be my business. I'm going to be in the business of writing off debt. Y'all want to be in the business of writing off debt? That's what SACOM's getting ready to do. We're going to help balance the budget of the American government one way or the other. We're going to forgive our neighbor of their debts against us as we want our neighbor to forgive us. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and labor, ladies, we're going to end this video right now because I got to go lay down. I got a meeting in two hours and I, I just need to recoup. So y'all take care. Hope everything goes well with you and got to go. Bye-bye.